Welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, James Proton. Every week I will be sharing the experiences that have defined my journey and talking with people who have their own powerful story to tell. It's about doing better and being better in life, business, and all things in between. The Visually Inclined can catch us on YouTube, or you can check us out on just about every podcast platform. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, these uh these three handsome devils here have come to tell us a, a story about hockey. We're going to talk hockey today. We haven't had a, we haven't talked hockey before on it. Well, no, we did. We had Phil Bork on the show. You know that one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah? Phil yeah. Bork was on the show. Actually, right back there. So these three young fellas are part of the U16 Team USA ball hockey team that is going to be competing in the world championships in Slovakia this summer in about a month, right? Mm-hmm. So... Tell us who you introduce yourselves. Uh, hi, my name is Anthony Benary. I play defense. Uh, I go to Yawk High School, and I started. I I only play deck hockey at Bills, and that's about it. Tell them where Bills is. Oh, Bills is in Ross Traver. <laughs> Bills golf land. Bills golf land. Falcons deck hockey. Bills golf land. Whatever you want to call it. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the show, man. Uh, hi, my name's Colin Moffitt. I play goalies, and. I'm from Bell Vernon, and I play for Team Pittsburgh deck hockey. Uh, my name is Caleb Warner. I play defense. I go to Bell Vernon area. Uh, I played at Bills mostly my whole life, and I still play at Bills. Yeah. Well, welcome, welcome to the show, fellas. So, <clears throat> most of the people, if not all, that are watching this, other than people that know you guys have no clue that there's such a thing as a Team USA ball hockey team. So, you know, they think ice hockey, right? Now, you two guys play ice hockey. Yep. Caleb would, but he's, he's just too clumsy to get on ice skates. He can't, he, he can't do it. So we wouldn't let him. He would hurt himself. So tell us a little bit. How, how did you get interested in ball hockey? Um, I think mostly my brother played for about his entire life. And honestly, I look up to my brother, and, yeah. and I just – I just want to play this, usually the same sports as he plays. Okay, cool, cool. What about you? How, how did? What made you become a goalie? Uh, it was just weird. Like, coach was like, "We need a goalie for this game," and I was like, "I'll play." And I just fell in love with. It. And Man. you just love it. Yeah. And dude, that's hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a tough position to play. It just got so much easier through the years. It, it's fun. Good. Good for you. What about you? Um, I got into it. Because uh, of my older brother, he played it, and then eventually my brother-in-law played it. So I just started from there. Excellent, excellent. So were you guys? You all three of you were on the team last year, weren't you? Yeah. So last year you got you guys made you, you got bronze. Mm-hmm. So and that was in Czech Republic. Yeah. So what makes you guys think you're going to get gold this year? Uh, I believe, I feel like the team's a lot more balanced, a lot more solid this year. Uh, and uh, some of us coming back for a second year, we know what to expect. And our coach coming back for a second year, I feel like he knows what to expect as well. I just think we are a lot better this year because I think we moved the ball better than we did last year. And with everyone coming back for a second year, it's gonna, they're going to know what to expect. And I think that will give us a better chance. No, excellent. I, mean, I agree with these two. I think uh, defensive-wise, I think we're much better. Okay. Like, we're more solid. Like, we're more deep. And I think uh, we're really experienced, and our coaches know what to expect this, this time around. Okay. So, now, this, this, this team is not just all kids from Pittsburgh area. There's kids from – you got kids from New Jersey and different, different places as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you guys had to try out – you went out to New Jersey to try out, right? Yeah. Then, so, how was that? How, how, when I see the when I see you guys play, and I've seen all you guys play tournaments and everything. When I see you guys play the Jersey kids, it seems like they play the game a little different than you guys do. Uh, the Jersey kids definitely play a lot more physical than us. You know, they talk a lot more. They're they're really rowdy out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very true. And you know, the cool thing about it, you know, when when you're on the decks. And I, I like to stand. I don't like to sit in the bleachers and watch. So I can hear everything you guys say. And I do tell all your moms, by the way, just so you know, when you say bad words and stuff, I tell you moms. Thank so you. just stuff. Yeah. It's one of those things. But it does get kind of intense, you know? Yeah. 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 I, 
I think the Jersey kids are very physical. Like, they're a lot more physical than us. And they're not scared to take a hit. And they're not scared to make a hit. And that makes a lot of sense because it, I, they beat you guys a lot. Yeah. And they win a lot. I mean, you know, they come out here and, and they win. You know, and that, I don't, you know, I, I'm not I'm, I'm not criticizing you guys or anything. I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, Jersey seems to, like, whoop you guys pretty often. So, probably ought to try to do something about it. I guess. Yeah. I no, it, 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 just seriously, now, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm done messing with you. So, how do you how do you guys prepare? You know, it's because when I look at ball hockey, I look at it as kind of like a like a hobby. To, you know, like it's not like football, basketball, baseball, even ice hockey. It's something you guys do over the summer. And and you know, how do you get how do you get motivated and get up for for that level of competition? Because you're going and there's going to be kids from all over the world, literally. And you know, the European countries are really really into hockey. The Canadians. So how do you get motivated for that? It's, it's like, well, I mean, you just got to recognize who you're playing for. You're not playing for your local team anymore. You're playing for your country, and you know, and you're playing against other countries, and you know, you just got to step up to the level. You just got to know. Okay. Okay. I think it's because, like, like you say, you are playing for your country, and it's like a lot, a lot more intense than playing for like a club team mm-hmm. or something. And it's just like you got to get up for it, or because you have a chance to win gold. And it's like a big thing in my head. Well, yeah, that would be huge. And yeah. I mean, you're representing your country, but you're also representing like your family, mm-hmm. your local team. You're representing your school. You're representing like everything, like you stand for. And I mean, um, it's really intense out there. And if you're not up for it and you're not like prepared to play, yeah, you're gonna get crushed. So you you have to be. Prepared. Is the game faster? When you guys are at that level, I mean, the level competition, that's a big jump in level competition. I'm much faster. No, I'm sorry. It's even faster than some, um, like, some adult leagues that we play in. Like, the game and, like, how it, like, progresses and, like, the flow of the game is much different. And it's much more physical on a goalie, too. You know, I, I listen, I've seen you take some shots. Not, yeah. not even just with the ball, but guys, guys just really crashing into you. I mean, you're kind of vulnerable there. You're... You're watching the play. I mean, mm-hmm. you you personally, I've seen you take some hits. Yeah, it's everyone, you have to get to the net in order to score goals. So mm-hmm. it's like sometimes you do hit the goalie, and it is like physical. So yeah. so you guys are both defensemen, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how important is are these two guys to you? So you, these guys are going to be protecting you, at, you know, in goal. So I've seen – I've seen guys, kids give up five, six goals that probably half of them at least should belong to the, the yeah. defenseman. But, I mean, they, like they, defensemen are like goalie's best friend. So it's like, because if, they, if they're not on, you're not on. Right. Because it's like, yeah, some goals are on the goalie, some are on the defenseman, some are even on the forwards. But, but you can't blame... You can't blame the defense for that every time. Like, you have to take some. Well, it's a team effort. You know, yeah. it's always a team game. At the, at the end of the day, you know, you, 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 have, to, you have to stop the, the shot. Mm-hmm. What would you consider, and goalie, goalie fascinates me because I, I still think I can't believe anybody would volunteer to play goalie. But, <laughs> but so if you, if you give up four goals in a game, okay, but you but – Face thirty four shots and you start you had thirty saves. Would you consider that a, a, a successful game? I would consider it like a decent game. Probably like not my best game. I'd consider like anything like four over like an okay game, depending on like the goals that you let in. Like if they're all four bad goals, I would say a bad game. Like even like games that I let in like two goals, but they were like bad goals, and I just wasn't feeling myself that game. I'd consider it a bad game. Mm-hmm. But like sometimes I let in like four or five, and I consider it a good game because it's like I know some of the goal, like probably one or two I could have had, right? But not every single goal is really full. Sure, sure. Do you go into every game with the intention of, of pitching a shutout? Yeah, that's but, that's your goal. Because there's another thing where it's like a goalie shouldn't 
say shut out in the middle of the game. Because then, like, you'll say it, you have a shut out going. Yeah. And then someone will say something, and they let the goal a couple yeah. weeks later. Yeah. It's a, it jinxes it. It's like a, mm-hmm. it, it's, you know, pitchers throwing a no hitter in baseball. You don't yeah. talk about it. So, Anthony, what's, what do you think is the biggest difference between ball hockey and ice hockey? Well, I mean, ice hockey is definitely a lot more physical. I mean, in ice hockey, you can hit anybody if they have the puck. In ball hockey, you gotta be, you got to be different about it. You know, yeah. you can't really hit somebody if they're against the boards. But you can, over overseas, you can definitely hit somebody uh, just open in the rink. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you got to keep hands, hands down, and you, you got to keep your shoulders down. You can't hit nobody high in the head, no elbows. you got to stay conservative about it. No, well, that that's interesting because you know, the the speed of the game, like we, we just mentioned, is 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 much faster. And you guys you guys move pretty quick. I mean, there. I would think that it's difficult to to just pull up sometimes. You know, you're 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 just going out. You're going full speed against somebody. You're not intentionally trying to hit them high, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Yeah, sometimes definitely. Yeah, you don't know that you're getting it out there, and your elbows right at his head, and then you go your back. You're in the boss. How does how does uh, how, how does hockey compare to football as far as the physicality of it? Um, I mean, football is obviously like one of the most physical sports out there, and you have to be physical if you want to be good at football. Mm-hmm. Like that hockey, um, you can get away with not being as physical as a, like as other players, but you also have to be really skillful if you want to be less physical. Yeah. So I think both both are like physicality is important in both sports. Especially uh, when you get to the world stage in ball hockey, so a lot of those European countries are very physical, and the refs allow like most types of hitting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Is the officiating different overseas than here? One hundred percent. the The referees over there they allow um, a lot of body stuff, like mm-hmm. a lot, like some checking, but some of the stick stuff, like tripping, high sticks, like slashing they're really they really crack down on that when the refs over here they really um try to make sure that none of the hitting goes on nothing up against the boards stuff like that anthony what do you think is your biggest strength in in is as an athlete in sports not just in 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 hockey but overall i mean probably my defensive ability i'm very i'm very strong defensively i'm very I, i can keep up with a guy anytime in my own zone it's probably those pink shoes. You need. Yeah, I think it's what it is. They, you, you, they make you faster. Uh, you know, I, I like to think that they do. <laughs> you know, that, well, that's that's hey, that's 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 ninety percent of the battle. What about you? What 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 is your strength? Um, probably my uh, like ability to like find open teammates and pass. Like, especially it's really important when you're playing on a big rink mm-hmm. to be able to break the ball out cleanly and make sure you get out of the zone because you're bottled up in your own zone. The other team has many chances to score. That right. just can't happen. Okay. Okay. So let's switch it up a bit, Colin. What would you consider to be your biggest weakness? The, the thing that you have to work on. Um. Well, for goalies, definitely like my glove hand. So we could. I've never like I've always been like okay with my glove, but it's never like that's always been like my weakness. My comfort goalie. Do you, you disagree with that or agree? You're, you're kind of, you're no, like, I think he's I got think to. Good. I feel like we're just I mean, telling I our competition. Really I think we're just telling our competition what his weakness is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody yeah, I don't even in Slovakia is yeah, watching. I don't know if they I don't even know, know what they're saying. saying. I don't know. I don't even know if they know what I can't even saying. get Caleb's grandmother to watch this show. So yeah. th- I mean, don't worry about it. Nobody's watching. <laughs> Who would you say is the leader of your team? Not the guy with the C, but who? who, who it doesn't necessarily have to be the same person. Who, who's the leader on this on this bunch? Uh, I feel like Matt and Goss, number two. He's from New Jersey. I feel like he probably he stands out most as a leader. He's always talking. He always he's always bringing us up whenever we're down. Yeah. You know, he he doesn't let us stop. He doesn't let us the momentum get down. If we're high momentum, he keeps it up. He keeps it high and he doesn't let it slow down. What do you say? Yeah, I'd also say Matt and you agree with that? Ori and Basilio, number thirteen. I think they're both like very vocal on the rink. And they'll like pick you up if you're down. So, uh, I think that's the most important thing as a lead. How, how do you how do you mesh in with these guys like from New Jersey? Because obviously you don't practice you don't practice with them all the time. You know how, how is how are you going to take that 
over go to Slovakia and be a cohesive team? Um, I think like at some of these local tournaments when we're playing for our club teams, when when we get together and we talk, it's really important. And like sometimes we have camps where we mm-hmm. mesh, like like because sometimes you get opportunities to play with these guys, and sometimes you have to play against them. And then it's just really important to connect and talk about like our mindset and stuff going into like world. Okay. And you guys will go over. You do you do team activities, right? You you stay in a hotel as a team, and you guys you you spend a lot of time immersed with each other, you know. And I think that has to help, you know, from the competition uh, standpoint of things. So, what do you think that there's going to be fun to do in Slovakia? Um, I just believe that just it's a new area. I mean, we haven't been there, you know, yeah. and it's just fun to just walk around and just to see like how people live over there and how people act over there. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a really great experience to go over there and just to see, just to see like, what's different about over there between over there. What was different about Czech Republic? What stood out for me? What do you remember from that the most? Um, probably convenience stores. Uh, they have barely any security, and it's like <laughs> they don't even have any cameras because like, they believe nobody's going to steal. They, everybody, there's a lot of trust over there. Wow. Interesting. Tunnel. Tunnel. So talk about the tunnel, Colin. Tunnel is a different story for them than Chase, if Chase Bird is wrong, uh, by some slight chance he's listening to see, he will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. So Bubby, Bubby had a scary encounter Real going into a tunnel in, in uh, Czech Republic. These, these two guys uh, caught him when they were walking through the tunnel and uh, tried to muggle. Right. <laughs> tried to roll. A quick, quick re- reflexes for the goalies, and they they got out of there. <laughs> that's a big surprise from the goalie. You know? That yeah, is a big surprise. Cause that's that's a, they they run him out of there. I mean, never seen Colin run that fast. <laughs> that's fast. Didn't know he could run that fast. <laughs> Blood was boiling. <laughs> but <laughs> hey, do you guys have any time? When when you're a tor- uh, you know overseas or any tournament like that, to just like do stuff for yourselves and just kind of hang out. Yeah, then they, they can give you time. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, they give you time. Like you have time in between games and stuff, mm-hmm. and you can go. Like last year, I mean, we had one game a day. This year's a little bit different. We got two, but you still you'll have time to go like and explore around and stuff. Like especially like before the tournament, if you get there, like you'll have time to do stuff. Yeah, so it's like you'll have plenty of time to explore. Well, that's good because it's like you said, it's a great experience. Mm-hmm. You know, not how many how many guys your age get to go, you know, overseas t- two years in a row. Yeah. You know, that's that's pretty cool. Um, what 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 would be? Let me ask you this. So, if you guys win, when you guys win the gold medal, what will be the bigger accomplishment for you? That or yeah. or the state championship in football? Uh, I uh, the gold medal, um, uh, definitely. I just think like. Um, it's it's something that like not like not a lot of kids win state championships in football, right? But like this is such a like a small sport, like and it's very small and not a lot of people like know about it. Mm-hmm. And I've been playing for eight or nine years and it'll it'll mean a lot to like for all my hard work to finally pay off and win a gold medal with my friends that like it'll be real nice. Yeah, and also you contributed a lot to that state championship. <laughs> yeah. It was out there a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's for the winning touchdown. You had, wait, you, had, you had four, didn't you? It's like, yep. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I know. It was like, four touchdowns. I don't remember what we were that. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, trust me, I was at every game. I kept uh, wait, waiting for him to do something. He never did. Yeah. He, he yeah. just, he just, yeah. he, he, he gave the water models out. What about, wait, what, going off, let me go off subject for a second. I didn't get a chance to talk to you. What about Al Quimper? Uh, what do you think of that? Our good team, we're gonna have to play in week one. You better be ready. I know, that's what I mean. I just saw that. Yeah, you're cooked. Defending state champs. You guys think they got a shot? No. No, they're cooked. Oh, thanks. <laughs> they're cooked. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, guys. Especially thanks your Caleb's out there. Thanks for your courage, man. You're cooked. Yeah. No, I think we'll I don't think you, we just got to be prepared. Well, Especially I, Caleb's out there. It, it, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So, who's your biggest rival at Yacht? What's the, what's the school that you like hate? Uh, that's probably Connellsville. Well, I mean, that's for our ice team, our school ice team, probably Connellsville or EF. You guys play high, you play ice hockey together? 
well, we used to. He quit. <laughs> I didn't so quit. It's only me. Never, there was a little incident. It's only me, so. It was an incident. I'd probably say EF or Collins was probably our base. E EF is definitely the base. Right. Yeah. And then. Oh. Okay. Okay. E EF hasn't beat us. In, I mean, I can't say us anymore, but. <laughs> yes. I think it's been like four, three or four years since they've beat us. We play them about twice a year. So. Now you, it, it, it's it's Ringgold team, right? Yeah. Because you know not every school has a hockey team. Yeah. It's so, like in our division, it's called a co-op division. Yeah. Division. Like a couple of different schools come to make one. So Ringgold has like Belvern and York, and then some other schools. But those are like Ringgold, Belvern, and York are like the main. Okay. And Shawleroy. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's fascinating. Just think if you could do that with like other sports, that would be really cool. You know, because some schools do. Yeah. You know, like the Central Catholic and places like that. Yeah. They they do they merge. Good bit of recruiting. They do. Yeah. So uh, what's the what's what's the prediction? What 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 you, what's going to happen over there in Slovakia? What's your prediction? Uh, my prediction. I I really hope to win gold. You know, last year we came up short. But I don't know what you hope to do. What are you going to do? We're What's the prediction? Gold. We're going to win gold. I believe. That's what I believe. Okay. What about you, Colin? I really do think we have a really good shot at gold this year. Like I said, I just think we work better as a team this year. Like, last year, I think we had more skill. But this year, it's we have a much better system than last year. And I think we communicate better and stuff. I mean, we haven't been together a lot, but... When we have, it's been a lot of communication, mm -hmm. and we have like more set plays. Good, very good, very. Good. What about you? I think we're going to win gold. Well, I know we're going to win. Well, I, you know, you guys need to be confident. You know, that's a that's a thing. It's it's manifesting. You know, you you declare your intention. We're going to win. I just think we're closer as a as a group than than last year. Like a lot of our personalities, even though we're from different parts of the country. We really got to like know each other and mesh, yeah. and we're closer as a team. And I think that's really beneficial over there because, especially with some of those European teams, they've been playing since they were like they've been playing like together since mm -hmm. they were like six. Right. So they're really close, and I think being close as a team and like going out there and playing for each other is really important. Well, I love the fact that you guys all mentioned the importance of playing for your country, representing your country. I, I appreciate you wearing the the, the 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 shirts you look good that's that that that's that's pretty cool I I do appreciate it and so you guys are you still raising money you guys still doing any fundraising because um, this this comes at a cost right this isn't something like nobody's you guys are you, and your parents are, are picking up the bill for this I think they might like I have like another little one I'm not 100 percent sure but we just had one like the other day yeah just like a little one. But like not all these fundraisers need to be like huge to right. like get all this money. I mean, even a little bit helps. Oh, absolutely, um, absolutely. Because I mean, you're looking at a, a, a nice chunk of money to make that trip uh, alone. Just that, not in including everything else. You know, traveling to tryouts and things like that and tournaments. So, listen, I appreciate you guys coming on. I wish you the best of luck. We're gonna get this out there and and get the message out. And you're probably gonna have like millions of fans after this. I yeah. bet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm totally serious. I mean, it's like. Oh, yeah, we have at least six or seven people that watch this regularly. So, you, you know, they're, and they're, they'll tell all their friends and, and family and everything. So, you'll, you guys will be in good shape. And we have a lot of girls watch this show. Uh -huh. A lot, lot, of t lot of 16 year old girls. Uh -huh, I bet. They watch this show a lot. I mean, it's, um, you know, just a thing that, that happens. So, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm going to help you guys out. Well, listen, so thank you so much for coming thank on. You. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. And, uh, yeah, definitely, you bring home the gold, man. Don't settle for anything less. Yeah. 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 All right, thank you.